Hello, hello, and welcome to the stream, everyone. How are you guys doing? Arnav, it's so nice to have you back in the chat. How are you? How has life been treating you? Yeah, long time no see. So, um, uh, as I get started, I'm just going to straight up tell you guys, I have a very slight headache, um, and um, I'm pretty tired because um, I... I woke up early this morning um, and probably did not get enough sleep last night. So, um, but I think with so many things on my plate before I leave for vacation, um, I, I think I just have too much on my mind and I couldn't go back to sleep. So right now I am uh, fairly sleep deprived. But I still wanted to show up for this because I wanted to, like, have a reason to decompress. So, uh, hey, Lenny, how are you doing? Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm actually pretty darn tired. Um, kind of have a, a very slight headache. But you know what? We are here. I want to play the flute um, and just kind of forget about everything for a bit. Um so, uh, yeah, um, big trip coming up. I will tell you guys about it when I am back. Um, partially just to kind of like maintain some privacy, but also for some, just so that um, security reasons, you know, um, I think it's always better to not announce to the world exactly where you're going. <laughs> um, and uh, you were in a master class. Oh my goodness, fantastic. What master class were you in? Tell me about it. Um, uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, I, I want to just kind of start playing and stop thinking. Um, so that's, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, I've been trying to like drink enough water and stuff. Uh, I have been. I've been keeping very uh, pretty well hydrated, but this headache is still not really going away. So um, I'm not going to, uh, you know, try and go crazy with it. With Marianne, uh, get, I don't know how to say her last name, but wasn't she the guest artist at the flute festival this past weekend? That's fantastic that you got to have a masterclass with her. I hope you had a a lot of fun. I hope that you learned a lot, had a great time. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, great. Congratulations. That's fantastic. What did you play for her? Um, Brahms for flute solo. That's a great one. That's a great one. Fantastic. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to get started now, but you guys can keep talking um, or just lurk or whatever it is you need. Um, I, I kind of need this for myself. <laughs> so I'm just going to get started playing now. Oh, I, I actually have everything prepared. That's part of the reason why I was a little bit late. I had a few microphone issues. Uh, this microphone was acting up and doing some really weird things. So, uh, but it looks like it's fine now. So we'll do that. Also, I am very short because here, I need my slippers. Okay, now I'm at the right height. <laughs> okay. Um, so Arnav, if you want to tell us more about what you learned or stuff like that, we are so down to celebrate you and just like have fun learning with you. Um, but also if you want to lurk, that's totally fine too. Also good with that. Uh, but yeah, um, just because I start playing, it doesn't mean you guys have to stop talking. Feel free to just chat, have a good time. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
I don't know if that is happening today. I can feel like the pressure there is is a bit much for my head. Also, I am a lot shorter than I think you guys think I am. Um, that was actually one of the one of the comments when I met someone at uh, at the meet and greet. They were like, "You're shorter than I than you look in your footage." So just so you know, guys, th this is everything you see here is perspective. This looks short, like this looks short or this looks tall, but it's it's one of those IKEA Calyx bookshelves that are pretty short. <laughs> Um, and I only look taller than it because I'm closer to you guys, camera wise. So it's all perspective and camera magic. Yeah, I'm very short. I am extremely short. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly as Arnav is saying, yeah. Everyone else played the Dvorak. Oh, that's also a beautiful one. That's great. So you kind of move your flute away from your armature and messes you up. So she told you to try that and to phrase more. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay, we're going to try and get it to the high C, but let's see what happens. Yeah, it's not happening today. I can't take up that amount of pressure in my head today. So we're just going to leave it. Yesterday, it came out so easily. Um, but yeah, today, I think with my headache, I don't think I can do it. So we're just going to leave it. Um, let's do head on over to De La Sonorte. We're on page 22 for our interval tone exercises. Oh, there's some high ones here, but it's OK. We'll power through it. Um, we are jumping from one note to every other note and this time that one note is a high a oh boy that's going to be fun okay here we go All right, the high A is particularly difficult for this flute to get bang on. So considering that I have a headache right now, I think it's okay. Um, how was the meet and greet? It was really fun. Hung out with like five people for like a whole hour. It was really fun. And we just, we just like nerded out. Someone brought a cane that was a flute. Like what the heck? It was amazing. It was fantastic. Uh, for my first meet and greet, it was a perfect size. I didn't want it to be that many people. And I wanted to have like actual conversations with people. So it was perfect. 
Hey, Chris, how are you? Hello, Tracy, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I think that definitely I'm noticing that the headache is um, forcing me to not want to blow as hard, which ironically is actually helping. <laughs> hey, Michael, welcome back. Okay, let's do the second articulation here. Um, so we'll do that. All right, considering the circumstances, pretty great. Um, you guys are so sweet. Um, um, I'm not looking for sympathy for my headache to be, to just, you know, put that out there. Um, but I appreciate the, uh, the sympathy. Um, it's just a tired, did not sleep enough headache. It's nothing serious. Um, so you guys don't need to be worried or anything. I think I just have some nerves, a little bit of kind of healthy apprehension, um, for my trip coming up on Thursday. So, um, uh, there's just a lot of things to wrap up before I go. Um, I did just finish the video for, um, the Yamaha 462H. So that is a load off of my mind. I just need to upload it and prepare it for um, like social media posts and stuff like that. So we get in there, we get in there. Um, he's a little better. Thank you so much for asking about hubs. Um, uh, he's, it's better than it was last week, but it's not in a like, it's not in a fully comfortable state. So. Um, I think maybe I'm also a little bit apprehensive about traveling with him still kind of coming off of a flare. So, um, yeah, I think there's a lot on my mind and like my, my brain is just going, it is going. Um, so when, like right when I woke up, even though I woke up like, um, an hour before my alarm, I just, I could not go back to sleep for that hour although I really needed it. So hopefully I can sleep a little better tonight. Tomorrow I have a really long day. Um, and, um, but, you know, thankfully I don't have to do any editing and uploading and stuff tomorrow. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to be a okay. Um, 
So the video that I just finished today will be out for members tomorrow and then it will be out for everyone publicly on Thursday. Um, and I did that so that I wouldn't have to babysit the, um, the initial upload or the initial publication to the members um, when I'm on vacation. So I'm trying to stay away from doing work while I'm on vacation. So yeah, there's just a lot kind of to wrap up before heading out. The vacation itself, I think, is going to be amazing. So I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, we're going to do a tiny bit of circular breathing. On the hand is pretty good. Um, hi Neo, welcome to the stream. Um, so yeah, I will be, as you can see from my practice checklist, I will be making my way down to practicing the Uber. Um, so this is a practice stream. It's not a performance stream. Um, this is me actually practicing. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today. Um, but yeah, okay, so circular breathing is going okay. Um, uh, definitely today I'm finding it very hard to convince myself to um, to do the inhale while I exhale. That took a lot of convincing and I, I think it's probably because I am so tired um, and, and with the headache and everything. So considering that and the fact that I still was able to at least kind of make myself do it, I'm okay with that. So we're going to move on to... Moise 480 exercises. We're doing number 137 today. Also, I'm going to update this for next time. Um, awesome. Did you play the entire thing or did you play um, like a specific movement or what? Hey, Einstein, how are you? Uh, no, I, I did not film anything at the flute festival. I filmed two things to just for myself to kind of record kind of the vibe um but yeah um thank you tracy i appreciate it so much uh but yeah i didn't uh it just didn't feel right to stick a camera in front of um people's faces especially because i was trying to have you know actual conversations with people so i ultimately decided against it um, but we took lots of photos. It was really cute. Okay, let's do this.
we made it through. <laughs> Definitely a little bit on the struggle bus today. Uh, feeling very distracted. Um, but it is kind of nice to be forced back into something that makes me like relax, makes me keep focus on the present. I think that's really why I wanted to practice today was because I wanted to focus on the present moment because I'm so caught up right now with like, you know, editing, getting the video out, wrapping everything up before I go, thinking about packing, um, you know, thinking about the actual traveling and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, like I think my brain is like freaking everywhere right now. So I need this session to keep me focused on the present. So, oh, uh, you're doing, um, how do you say peace in French? Uh, uh, pièce? Um, that's a really beautiful one. I hope you enjoyed playing that. Yeah. Um, so I'm not playing that right now. I'm playing the Iber Flute Concerto, um, which is also beautiful in its own way. Um, but yeah. Um, was it hard? But did you like it? I, I, um, I think I studied that one a, a while back. Or if not me, I think maybe one of my students studied it. It's a pretty one though, isn't it? Um... So Einstein, you watched the Champions League for the first time. Um, can you explain what that is? Because I don't want to assume what that is. And hello, Megan, Alluring Almond, how are you? You loved it, Neo? That, that's the important part. The important part is that you love the music, you know, because that really shows when you like perform it, when you, um, you know, like play it for other people um you know your love for the piece really shows through and that's really important um hey nathan how are you <laughs> okay let's do a little bit of drilling we got to drill q56 first um we're going to do some what's called compression exercises so we are just going to go we're going to take this kind of like big fluffy part and just go short, long, uh, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. And then we're going to switch it. And we're going to go short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, um, like as fast as if I'm doing grace notes. And, and then I will play it as written. And this kind of helps me um, get used to my new uh, kind of hand positioning for my left hand because I'm playing a lot more efficiently now. So I don't have to like keep reaching my fingers. Um, but I'm not used to not reaching. So this exercise can help with that. So that's what we're doing right now. So I was just noticing where like my lip was trying to retract back too soon. That's when it cracks low. Um, and then also I'm trying to get that transition from F to A flat actually super smooth. I'm gonna try it one more time.
definitely easier if I approach it from a more musical kind of perspective. So, okay. Um, we are going to start from the end of the recap now and then make our way up to the top. Um, so same thing, compression exercises and then playing it as written. Head to Google, pièce in French. Did I say it correctly? <laughs> How are you, Nathan? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm going to have to get used to that fingering, but I do like it. Okay. Keep going.
Okay. I will accept. We will keep going back. But before that, we will... Uh, we will definitely swab. Uh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, doing this is definitely helping me kind of more stay in the moment. I'm feeling more calm now, too. I know that didn't sound calm, but because I think I'm being forced to really stay in the moment, think in the moment. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling more calm now. Feels good. Okay, truly the weirdest side effect of having a slight headache is that it is really forcing me to not push my air. I really have to find where the note wants to resonate in the mouth and let it just do it because that is, it's significantly less pressure inside of my own head. So in a weird way is actually, I think, making my sound better. <laughs> okay, keep going. Okay, not bad. Uh, a few notes I wasn't really prepared to resonate them in the correct spot and to stick out my lip far enough. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Okay, I will accept that even with the sneak breath. Um, we'll go one section before, after I swab out. 
Oh, this is nice because this is really helping me feel like I'm accomplishing something too. Uh, I knew that I was going to feel better as I keep practicing. Really glad I showed up for this. Okay, a little bit of tightness here. So it's making it hard to come back down the octave to get those low, the, the middle register E's. I wanna try it one more time. Okay, so I think this is a backup plan. So the backup plan is if I feel like my lip can't retract, like it can't relax back enough to get the, uh, the middle register E jumping down to it, um, I can very lightly lift the lip plate off my lip a little bit. It's not completely lifting off, but it's just kind of lightening up and that will um, place my lips a little bit further away from the opposite edge of the lip hole, just enough to get that note out reliably, I think. So that's a plan B um, in the case that I'm like, for example, like playing this all the way through in one shot. Um, and you know, if I'm getting tired at this point, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So it's really subtle to the point that I don't think you guys can even see me doing it, which is why I'm telling you guys. So um, I'll try that. Okay, 
So if I'm relaxing, I shouldn't do it. If I feel like I can relax it, then I shouldn't do it because then it goes too far down. Okay, just to explain what I was doing there. I was experimenting um different things like how far away do I, like how much do I lift the lip plate a little bit. I was also trying um to feel out where it resonates inside of the mouth. Um because I think I wasn't paying attention to that before. Like I was only doing kind of like lip action, but I need to also pay attention to where it's resonating in the mouth. So um, I think I'm getting there. enough woodshedding for today. I have some ideas to kind of sink into my brain. Um, so I'll let those sort of settle over tonight and see how it goes tomorrow. Um, you know, sometimes you have to do this where you just kind of like try a few things out and then you kind of see what settles overnight. Okay, last section. Oh no, I hope your grandma's okay. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I really hope um, everything is okay. So sorry to hear that.
Thanks, Victor. How are you? I'll get that water after this, thank you. I think right there in the future will be really nice when I can just circular breathe through that because I just need a little bit of extra to get to the end there comfortably. So I thought of that yesterday but I didn't quite say it out loud because um, I didn't know if I want to really co commit to something like that but I think it, that actually would be really nice. Um, anyway, done. Uh, drilling and doing some wood shedding for the e-bear. Feeling pretty darn good. We're going to end off with some quality time with Genshin Impact music. Uh, there's another part that I uh, noticed last night when I was thinking about it that like I could not remember the series of like what the heck is going on in that part. So I'm going to be starting kind of in the middle. See you later, Victor. Thank you so much for dropping by. Much appreciated. Okay. did do it fairly correctly. Okay.
Thank you, Nathan. Um, I think I'm still okay. I'm more confident in what I'm doing now. Okay. 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 One more time through that section. Because this was the part that I could not like think through in my head last night when I was thinking about it. Gotta drill that. Gotta drill that. Boy. This was the next part that I was like, I know, I know the tune, but my fingers don't know, don't know it. Okay, so we're gonna scooch back a bit. Hello, Alexander. How are you?
Oh, I am sorry. Yeah, I'm also feeling very tired today. Um, and I have a slight headache. So I feel that. Uh, we had uh, all sorts of weather today. All sorts. We have had cloudy, sunny, raining, hailing. Um, it's It's been quite the eventful day for weather here. <laughs> oh, okay, got a little bit of time, so I just want to review a tiny bit more. the study oh ooh, the headache really okay mm, yeah oh that that definitely I think that is the sign that I should stop but weird it's weird I uh I do want to say and I hope it's not too late to say this from when I last talked about it but um so earlier in this session, I was saying that, oh, you know, um, the weird, you know, a weird side effect of playing while you have a headache is that, or at least while I have a headache, is that it makes me actually like truly find where it's resonating in my mouth so that there's not so much pressure inside of my head because you technically can just force the note out, but um you know by just putting a lot of air pressure through but if you um find the spot in your mouth where that specific note wants to resonate for your flute you'll notice that it just doesn't take a lot of pressure uh it doesn't take a whole lot of air pressure um so um uh because of that though i did notice that my high notes were at least i think they were um quite open today um and it's because with my headache being the way it is um i've been essentially avoiding putting too much air pressure through my my own head um now i i want to say that this is an observation it's interesting and i am not advocating for you guys to practice while you guys have a headache i am not advocating for um you guys to like make yourselves have a headache in order to um, learn how to play high notes. I just want to make it very clear that that is absolutely not what I am trying to tell you guys to do. I'm not trying to tell you guys to do anything. It's more just that it's a very interesting observation to make. Um, and I think that the, you know, I, I, I feel like as a professional, it's, it's interesting to experience being forced to resonate the note where it wants to resonate um, and never falling back on just forcing the air through. So do flutists have better developed cheek muscles? Um, maybe not cheek muscles, but lip muscles right here. The, 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 you know the little muscles here that you use to do that? Hi, love. How are you? Oh, okay. Uh, love, my uh, hubs is going to pretend that he's not here, but he's actually off camera. Um, what? 
I can't just ignore you, love. Okay, okay. Well, if you guys want to say hi to Hubs, he's off camera right now, but he's refusing to say anything. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... <laughs> All right, he's laying on my floor like a cat now. Um, <laughs> they say hi. Um, do you want to say anything back? No, you don't want to? Okay, okay, well, he says no. <laughs> anyway, uh, put my flute away. Um, and then I guess it's dinner time. Is it dinner time? It's still, I guess it is still early. I still need to upload my video, but I finished it. Yeah. <laughs> Un unseen spouse of Joe, calling him hubs just doesn't feel right. I guess that does feel kind of weird for you guys, doesn't it? You know, um, I guess he's my hubs. <laughs> Okay, we are all uh, uh, cleaned up here now, and oh, wow, okay, I'm very glad I did that. That was super, super, you know, okay, so I'm just going to repeat it one more time. He needs a nickname besides Invisible Man. Well, Majin Mokichi called him Ninja Hubs, so... Um, th that stuck around for a while, so we can go back to that or, or like, you know, whatever you guys would like. Um, so I will reiterate, please do not try to give yourself a headache in order to try and force yourself to resonate your high notes correctly inside your mouth. Please, please don't. Okay. I would say for that for the most people who are watching this. Um, you're probably watching this for fun. Uh, oh, here, there. Um, um, and yeah, so uh, please uh, don't harm yourself, okay? It's just that I really wanted to do this for myself today and have something just kind of like put me in the present moment. And I think that that was a good thing for me. But if you guys are having a headache, please don't practice, okay? Basically... Do as I say, do not do as I do. <laughs> okay. All right. Love you all so much. Please take care of yourselves. Stay happy, healthy, and safe to the best of your ability. Because there is no music without the musician. I will see you guys next time. Tomorrow, probably. I may not actually end up practicing, practicing tomorrow. But I at least want to show up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow before I head off on my trip. All right. Laters, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.